sd.in on your radio sets in Mumbai City on 94.3 on the FM band right here on Radio 1 Mumbai. And only if you're not driving, statutory warning, if you're in the backseat of a, a car being chauffeur driven or if you're in the backseat of a radio taxi or you're at, the studio, at, at home or at the office without a radio set, then we're streaming video live on facebook.com slash hrishikay. So hrishikay, the Facebook page. Just a time check for you guys, and we're back with the, the fine people. Celebrity wristwatch. Here we go. It's 10 a.m. But John Resesnik from Cuckoo Dolls. I get overwhelmed sometimes when I think about the fact that if I'm bored or I'm sitting around my house or if I'm sad or whatever, all I have to do is pick up an instrument and turn on a little microphone and a little recorder and I can build something out of thin air. That's such a gift that I'm grateful for. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 10 a.m. Stuck in traffic? Never get stuck in health. Download Zoilo Healthcare app today or visit zoylo.com. Zoilo, one app for all your healthcare needs. This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. <laughs> the good people from River March, India, pleased to welcome onto the show uh, Shanta Naidu. Ma'am, good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Tejas Shah, Tejas, welcome to the show, buddy. Good morning, yeah. Rishi. And Mr. Mahesh Thawani, thank you for joining us, sir. Good morning. I want to start with the state the deplorable state of the rivers in Mumbai city. Take me through that, Tejas. Yeah, Rishi. Mumbai is the city which is made up of four rivers flowing through it, originating through Sanjay Gandhi National Park, flowing through the human habitat with the Mumbaikas, meeting to the Arabian Sea, passing through the mangroves on the uh, western coast. This, these rivers, once upon a time, used to be considered as the lifeline of we Mumbaikas. Unfortunately, today, it has changed its all the course. Once it moves out of Sanjay Gandhi National Park, it has lost all its glory. In spite of all, all this uh, garbages and everything, today still there are 162 species of butterflies officially noted by the department, by the Sanjay Gandhi National Park Department. There are 160 different species of birds flying in the uh, uh, Sanjay Gandhi National Park. We have observed golden jackal in mangroves in Charco. So in spite of all the dirty conditions of this uh, uh, river in the human inhabited, uh, still there is a life available. And all we Mumbaikas need to do is create it in a much better way where we Mumbaikas also enjoy that same river which the butterflies and the birds are still enjoying. Okay. And for that, for that, we all Mumbaikas need to come up, need to arise and come on the 4th March for the river march at Dahisar West Rustamji School Ground morning 6.30 a.m. onwards. Welcome all. You wanted to add something to this, man. In, yes. in considering with that, we even see nowadays, you know, small fishes also in the dirty water. Mm. And we see that egrets and birds, they are all, you know, still, even among the dirt and all, we find it's such a pleasure to see those birds. But in spite of such a horrible conditions, the, still those marine animals are seen. So what about we human beings? Aren't we doing a bit for the uh, environment and for the ecology? It's our responsibility that each and every citizen, each and every Mumbaikar comes forward and, you know, help save the river because a cup of water is more precious than a kilogram of gold for a thirsty man. Mr. Thawani, I understand that one of the principal reasons for flooding during the monsoons is the fact that we have no outlet for the water to go into the sea. And, uh, you know, back in the day when our rivers were silt free and garbage free, there used to be a, a, a you know, free flow as far as drainage is concerned. Could you enlighten us on that, please? Yeah, the reason for the flood is that earlier the rivers were wider, or the earlier the rivers were wider, and there were not much of development. Now, in the name of development, we are occupying every millimeter of land. So we are narrowing the rivers putting a wall so when the when there's a flood it overflows outside and then the, all the settlements get flooded mm. so that's our problem and then we are adding plastic and our major problem is the sewage of bombay new bombay thana vasai virar all the municipality whatever human sewage is there it is being dumped in the river so this is going to the sea and you can see on the chapati or marine drive, you can't smell. It is so dirty because all the sewage, 80% is going there. So government has now 
trying to act on that and you know have more sewage plants and all that so that the sewage is controlled that is one reason the second is the plastic so a lot of plastic we had earlier during the puja we had a steel thali and all that now using all plastic so pura theli the whole bag is taken along with all the flowers and the whole plastic is put there and they want to put in a water because our religious saying over nadi mein dal put in the river and all that but the river itself is dead because of the sewage and the people dumping everything in it sorry they just you wanted to say something yeah. yeah the sewage lines what he is talking about what mahesh has said the sewage lines that uh, unfortunately opens directly into the river beds uh fortunately for us our cm has declared he had said uh, during one of the meetings that these sewage lines are not the actual sewage lines these lines which are moving uh, the which brings the uh, rain water from all different parts of the city to the main river should be considered as the tributaries of the river and not the sewage lines that's the first thing second thing unfortunately we mumbaikers have considered gutter lines and the sewage and the rain drain uh, lines uh, rain water drain pipes as the same and they are uh, is the un- unauthorized uh, developments encroachments and all those things because of that this uh, the whole river land or the forest land is getting encroached today if you see out of 400 square kilometer of bombay 104 square kilometer is sanjay gandhi national park unfortunately uh as per the government records around 9000 acres of land has been encroached in uh, either in the uh, mangroves belt or on the river fronts or in the forest land and everything and all this encroachment all the sewage is all the outputs all the uh, uh, waste materials that gets dumped to the uh, river which end ends up in the sea and on the beaches carry perry hot and cold back in a couple of minutes with the room march india people